Who doesn't love lobster? Well, but we usually enjoy it as a splurge on special occasions. Well, think of summer as one of those special times. Wait until you taste my lobster and corn salad. You're gonna to wanna to celebrate it all season long. guys so first to get started we are preparing the dressing so this is a lemon honey vinaigrette so I've given you a lot of varieties this month with different dressings a lot of them require lemon I love lemon this one has honey which is a nice beautiful floral note it gives it a touch of sweetness and it really pairs beautifully with the lobster and the corn so I'm just zesting first so in this one we're using the zest I'm gonna freshly juice my lemon, get it into my cup of my little mini blender here. This is my vitamin nutrient extractor. I love to use that. You could use a mini blender, you could use your food processor. And in my cup, I have a good extra virgin olive oil. You always wanna use a top quality in your vinaigrettes, because you're gonna taste it. It's gonna be fruity and delicious. So we want a good amount of lemon juice. So here we have about a quarter cup. We have a third cup of the extra virgin olive oil. And then into it, I'm going to add a chopped shallot and some honey seasoned with salt and pepper, and then let it rip. easiest way to get the zest in there. So I always use a piece of wax paper to, and at any time I'm grating, whether it's ginger, lemon zest, it just makes it really easy for cleanup and to sort of transport it into whatever it is that you're making. All right, so this, we're gonna set it aside and then prep the remainder of the ingredients. Wait until you see how beautiful farm fresh these ingredients are. So we have radishes. This is lots of color, beautiful, fresh some celery, so I have a lot of chopping to do. So next time you go to your farmer's market, you can grab all these ingredients. They are there and ready for this salad. Okay, here is the best part about preparing your celery. I love celery in my salad, especially this salad. Hold on to the celery leaves. They give such great fresh flavor. My favorite part of the salad. So when you're slicing your radishes, to get a perfect round circle, you wanna just turn a quarter turn after each slice. That way it keeps the radish even and you get those even slices. My son loves radishes. He just eats them like a little snack. They are delicious. They're one of my favorites too. All right, so I'm gonna head out and light the grill, prep my corn and lobster, and then we're gonna start cooking. So now our dressing that we had earlier, you just want to reserve, I'm gonna stir that zest in there. You just want to reserve a little bit, just about a tablespoon or so, because we're gonna brush the corn and our lobster tails with it. So for the corn, you just want to place it into little foil packets. We're gonna pop this onto the grill for about eight minutes with the lid down. That way it roasts and becomes tender crisp before we then char it. So these were previously frozen, and I found that when you buy, whether it's squid, calamari, lobster, and they're previously frozen, it almost acts like a tenderizer. So these are gonna be really juicy and really tender. So I just thawed them, split them right down the back, right in half, then we're gonna to toss these onto the grill. So this lobster smells amazing. It smells sweet. That's how it should smell. It's a weird way to describe lobster. Sweet, right? But once you taste it and recognize that flavor, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna remove it from the shell. So we let it rest while the corn was continue cooking. We're gonna re remove it from the shell and chop it up into bite-sized pieces. 
All right, so a great little trick. Sometimes it's so hard to get the kernels off the cob. You've seen this on the internet everywhere. You wanna place a large bowl and then a smaller bowl on the inside. Hold your cob and then just slice it. That way, the kernels just get sort of captured by the bowl. And then I'll go all over your kitchen. All right, we are good to go. Lobster is chopped up. So into the bowl earlier, remember we chopped up those radishes, the celery, the celery leaves, a good amount of dill, some chives, our cold chopped lobster, our delicious corn. So we're gonna season it with salt and pepper and then use all of the dressing. Come on, so beautiful, so fresh. Utilize all those delicious ingredients from your farmer's market. Of course, I gotta have a little lobster celery, my favorite part, some of the corn, radish, all right, my concentrated bite. So fresh, so delicious. You deserve this salad all season long. For the recipe, head over to the newspaper's website. I'm Shereen with Cook This. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.